Hello everyone. My name is Tanunjari De Manne. I'm part of Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this presentation, we'll be going through how to test Hive connectivity for Kerberos enabled cluster externally from Informatica Server Mission. Moving on, today's agenda is why do we need to do the Hive test connection externally? Steps to perform on the Informatica Server Mission demo. Like sometimes Hive test connection fails from the developer client, but we don't see a proper error to see if connectivity is working fine between the Informatica Server Mission and Hive service on the cluster. We perform the Hive connectivity externally. To perform this uh, connectivity, we use a Hive CMD util script, which is present under InfoHome Services Shared uh, Distribution Version scripts. Moving on. Like these all the steps we need to perform from the Informatica server mission. First, we need to log into the Informatica server mission and create a directory with name info GCS Hive HDFS test at your convenient location. And you can give any other name as well. And next, we need to copy the infosys site XML into this directory. Like the infosys site XML will be present under info home tomcat bin ds temp domain name ds name node name cc1 name engine checksum you can get uh, the info cc1 site xml from the mapping log as well this is a in-house uh, uh, sample like where you can see like the info cc1 site xml is present under da domain 10413 ds node 1 cdhsk 632 and spark is the engine inside the checksum and we have the info cc1 site xml and uh, if the mapping itself it's not running like that initial phase while doing the test connection itself is failing then you can get the info cc site xml from the mas logs as well moving on and once you have copied the info cc site xml we need to rename it as hive site.xml and next we need to set few environment variables uh, to run this command first one with the info home you need to set it to where the informatica installation directory and next one is the java home and path in the Hadoop distribution and here we need to pass the distribution version which you are using. For example, if you are using CDS N1, you can pass the CDS N1 and execute the, um, we need to execute the below command and this is the sample command. Like uh, you need to pass the impersonation. First is the JDBC URL that I have passed it over here and next one, is the hive login hyphen and i'm using the root user and the proxy user is in for pdm and uh, um, spn which i'm using and the key tab information and this is the uh, krb five.conf file and we need to pass the query and this is the sample output uh, when i have run it in house and as you can see the like the query execution is successful and command execution is successful uh, let me show you in the demo board let me log in to my server machine now i have logged into the server machine i have already created the folder uh, in for jesus hive hdfs test and inside that I have copied the info CC site XML and I have renamed it as the hive set .xml. Let me set the environment variables. Like this is my info home path and I'm using CDS 71 distribution. Now I have set the in required environment variables. Now let me log into the hive database. As you can see in my Hive database, I'm having a temp table. Uh, let me try to query for the table. And this is the sample command, like uh, in for Hadoop distribution directory uh, scripts Hive CMD util, and we need to we need to pass the in for Hadoop distribution directory. And this is the JDBC URL and uh, the user which you have logged in and the proxy user the spn which you have used and the key tab and the krb.com file let me run this command as you can see like uh, it is logged in from the key tab uh, it is using the same 
uh, Kerberos authentication. Authentication method is Kerberos and it is login with the key tab and it is successful. And it's able to connect to the hive and it has executed the query and the command result is also successful. Uh, now let me try for a table like temp2 which is not present and how it will give the output in the failure case. Uh, let me run the command for temp2. As you can see, it is connected to the hive and when it is trying to run the query, it got an exception like the table is not found since we don't have any temp2 table and it is giving an error. In this way, like uh, we can perform the have CMD util test connection to do if there is any connectivity issues between the informatical server machine and the hive. And if any specific query is failing, we can run this query in this way and we can see whether we are able to execute the query externally or not. Going back to the presentation. And this is the KB article link uh, where you can find more details. Uh, oh, let me show you the KB article as well. Like the same steps, the commands all will be present over here. And you can copy paste from here. This is the KB article. We would like to hear from you on our social media handlers. Please give us your valuable feedback over there. Thank you all.